गुड मॉर्निंग फ्रेंड्स माई सेल्फ डॉक्टर आर सी चौहान असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर एस पी सी गवर्नमेंट कॉलेज अजमेर टूडे विल बी डिस्कस इन एम एस सी फिजिक्स सेमेस्टर फोर्थ पेपर माइक्रोवेव इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स यूनिट सेकेंड एंड दैट इज द सेटेलाइट कम्युनिकेशन सो वी स्टार्ट विद द इंट्रोडक्शन द सेटेलाइट कम्युनिकेशन वट मीन्स ऑफ सेटेलाइट कम्युनिकेशन द सेटेलाइट आर द स्पेशली मेड फॉर द कम्युनिकेशन मोस्टली फॉर द टेलीकम्युनिकेशन दे आर यूज फॉर द मोबाइल एप्लीकेशन सच एज द कम्युनिकेशन टू द शिप व्हीकल्स प्लान्स टी वी रेडियो ब्रॉडकास्टिंग एंड नाउ इट इज दे आर द मोबाइल ऑल्सो दे प्रोवाइड्स दिस सर्विसेज टू ए पर्टिकुलर एरिया just like that the the our satellites will be specified for the indian conditions and they are used for the communications in india also and if we needs then the, we have to change the frequency as well as the directions for the other countries also but mostly we are using for the our countries now the need for the space communications why we need it in the terrestrial microwave links are not suitable to meet the demand of the large geographical coverage for the radio transmissions because if you want to transmit about the long area large area it is not possible that are still where the antennas towers are used for the communications so for this we have to use the space communications the ground wave as well as the ionospheric propulsion methods are not suitable for this tricks for this type of the broad communications so for the microwave communications a recent fast growing communications need the other methods and that is the satellite communications what is the basic technique of this satellite communications for the microwave communications beyond the ionosphere is only the possibility when we put into an orbit a satellite which will receive the wave transported from the earth to the this station and the reflect back to the another station or the area up to the earth means it will be catch the signal from a particular transmitter that is reflected at the earth and amplify and it also transmit its signal to the particular area that is the specified area so the two station are the far away from each other but the link by a satellite means that is the mediate link between these two why the microwave is suitable for the satellite communications because microwave can penetrate ionosphere to provide suitable height of the orbit in the satellite communications microwave can handle the wide band signals so these are the three reasons number 1 microwave can penetrate the ionosphere because the satellite is present in the above layer of the ionosphere and second that is suitable for the satellite communications and microwave can handle the wide band of the signals now the different types of the satellites so what are the types of satellites according to range cover how many ranges covered by the satellite we can use the domestic regional and the global domestic means a particular station in a particular area and a global that is for the international we can use for this type of the range cover according to the working that is the active or the passive the active satellite will be receive the signal from the transmitter spread at the earth and amplify and this amplified signal is transmitted to back to the earth reflected to the earth so it is behave just like the reflector but the passive satellite is only the flying metallic balloons just like that it is receive the signals and they are reflected back there is no change in the signals because it will there is no active device is there so it will does not modify any change in the signals now the according orbiter there are geostationary geosynchronous the satellite to be share the same speed as the earth turn at equator zero latitude means at the equator this satellite is situated geostationary 
it have the same spot of the sky and directly over the same pitch of the ground to the old time it will always spread above that particular station <coughs> so this is just like the end above on the equator surface and this is called the geostationary and second one is the geosynchronized the satellite which is uh, synchronized with the earth rotation but the orbit is slightly tilted with the uh, respect to the plane of the equator it is not at the equator but it is tilted on the <coughs> equator <coughs> now the very important topic that is the orbits satellite orbit this is the path in which the satellite will move around the earth that is called this satellite orbit communication via satellite begins with the satellite is positioned in the desired orbit position so the satellite orbit the earth stay in the position because the centripetal force on the satellite balanced by the gravitational force several types of the orbits are possible for the suitable types the applications that the choice of the orbit is decided by the path course earth coverage area and the time period the satellite visual from the specified area so there are the three topic by which we can choose the orbit number one that is path loss that is singles transmitted from earth to the satellite and satellite work that is how many path is lost second one that is the area of the earth coverage how many area we want to cover which type of the area we want to cover and third one the time period of the satellite or you can see how many times it will take to rotates around this one how many times we want to get the signals repeating signals for this one so mostly there are the three orbits are used for the satellite communications that is shown in the figure number one that is geostationary that is a simply make a sphere that is the circle around the earth and it is always as earlier we have discussed that is the station station or that is the fix above a point although its time period is same as the time period of the earth and second one is the polar circular this is a circular but it is in the around the pole northern south pole of this one this is just like the sputnik satellite for the russia and third one is inclined elliptical that is the not on the polar but it is the inclined by some angle and that is around the earth so this is called the inclined elliptical orbit so we have start from here the inclined elliptical orbit mostly used to compass of the polar regions especially so this is this does not provides the continue contact to satellite with the spot on the earth so this is the drawback of it next polar circular orbit mostly used for the navigational satellite and the third one that is geostationary orbit this is the synchronized orbit that is the most favored orbit for the communications as 24 hours availability it is positioned at the 36000 km 36000 km approximately above the earth surface it is always above the given specified area not stationary but it is a geostationary Geostationary means that is the capital at a particular point, but geostationary that is move along the earth and it is always above the earth a particular station that is why it is called the geostationary. Now the calculations for this one as earlier we have right that the basic principle of the satellite in the particular orbit is uh, follow this law that the centripetal force arises due to the circular motion is balanced by the gravitational force between the that satellite and the earth so we can substitute the values of these two that is m square by r g m m by the r square r is the radius of the orbit of the satellite so that will be under root of the g m by r g is the universal constant m is the mass of the earth and that is the r is the that is the radius of the orbit so now we want to calculate the time period of the revolution for the satellite as earlier we know that is in moving the circular path so that t equal to the total length by the total velocity the total length is the circumference of it 2 pi r pi by b so on substituting the value of the r we can write this is the 2 pi root of the r cube divided by gm 
so on calculus we can obtain like t equal to 1.66 tens to the power minus 4 into r3 by 2 minutes so this is the time period of rotation of the uh, satellite around the, that particular orbit for stationary uh, geostationary we know very well that its time period will be equal to the time period of the earth so this is t equal to 24 hours so now we have to convert into the minutes 24 into the 60 minutes now substitute this the values of the time period in this above formula t equal to 1.66 tens to the power minus 4 r 3 by 2 so on substituting we can obtain this is r equal to 42,080 kilometer from that is the center to earth to the satellites so the height above which the earth surface satellite is present h equal to the small r minus capital r r is capital r is the radius of earth so this will be give 42 one will give you minus 6370 that is the radius of the earth so this give near about 36,000 kilometers so the core just a satellite the height of the satellite on the surface must be 36,000 kilometers that is very far away from this one this orbit is called the synchronized orbit and the satellite is known as the geostationary satellite so this is all about the geostationary satellite for today thank you Thank you very much.